LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so with this video, we're going to show you how to install your key onto your keyboard. And we're going to start out by looking at the uh, key section, which is this. We're going to insert the J key. Now, you want to start out by looking at those metal hooks that are on the keyboard itself. In the top right and left corners, there's two small hooks and at the bottom there's one large hook so make sure to look at your different keys because those can change position uh, the large one can be at the top or maybe to the side so that determines the position for the hinges which are these now we're going to um, do three steps the first one is to click these two pieces together then the second one is to put that entire piece onto the keyboard and the third one is to click the keycap on top of that so we're going to start by determining the position of the large piece and you can see this piece has two pins at the top and like the top corners and two smaller pins in the bottom corners now in the middle it has some holes that are going to accept the pins that are in the other hinge. Now make sure not to put this whole piece upside down like that because it'll look the same but it won't allow the mechanism to work. You have to feel underneath the vertical bars and if you feel a bump that faces the keyboard. If you feel the top it's if you feel that it's smooth it faces away from the keyboard. So that's the position for that piece. Put it down in the right position for now and get the next piece which is this. And this has two pins at the top that are going to click onto the keycap. Two pins in the middle that are going to click into the middle of the large piece. And then the bottom bar that's going to go underneath the large hook wherever it may be. In this case it's at the bottom so that's how you know this is the right position for it. If the hook were on top, then you want to align this with the uh, the hook. Uh, same thing for the large piece. If um, you know if the hook is in the top, then you want this the small pins at the top. Now make sure not to put this piece upside down with uh, the same technique. You feel underneath the top bar and if you feel a gap uh, you might even be able to see that gap that faces the keyboard and the other part I mean the other side is supposed to be one smooth piece so now what you want to do is put the small piece over the large piece and just click those pins in the middle onto those holes now we're done with step number one then we're going to go with step number two which is putting the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the metal hook the large one and that's it now you want to kind of keep that bottom bar there hold it in place with one hand and with the other hand you can get a blade or a knife or something thin but really strong so that we can stretch the hinges upward uh, or kind of you know in order for the uh, 
plastic pins that are at the top to go underneath those two metal hooks in the corners. So just kind of make sure they go around and underneath those top hooks. Finally, you want to get your keycap, put it right in the center, and push down evenly. And that's it. Now, for the large keys, it's the same uh, procedure to install these. Only difference is they have a metal wire. So that metal wire goes underneath the keycap. And we're going to start out by determining the position of the keycap. Obviously, this is how it goes. So we're not going to turn this piece like that. We're going to turn it like this so that nobody gets confused. And we're going to insert this wire at the very top of the keycap because it has fittings for it has uh, one fitting at the very corner and then it has two in the top there so it would be second and third and those bo all the bottom ones are for the the hinges so the first, the fourth, and last, I guess it would be the seventh, are for this metal wire. All the others are for the hinges. So go to the very, very top and click those in. Now keep the wire open like that, don't close it. What you want to do is, after you put your hinges in, you want to put those wires underneath the wire fittings, not the hinge fittings. There's two more fittings at the very left and right of the key section. So you want to put those wires in those holes and then sometimes it's, uh, it's going to get stuck. All you really have to do is pull it back up and after that it will be working just fine. So, um, there you go. Now, make sure not to push too hard because uh, you might break the pins or something. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.